Bourbon Whiskey, Wikipedia Article Audio Bourbon Whiskey slash BRBN slash is a type of American whiskey, a barrel-aged distilled spirit made primarily from corn. The name derives from the French Bourbon dynasty, although the precise inspiration for the whiskey's name is unsettled, contenders include Bourbon County in Kentucky and Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Bourbon has been distilled since the 18th century. The use of the term bourbon for the whiskey has been traced to the 1820s, and the term began to be used consistently in Kentucky in the 1870s. While bourbon may be made anywhere in the United States, it is strongly associated with the American South, and with Kentucky in particular. As of 2014, the distiller's wholesale market revenue for bourbon sold within the U.S. is about $2.7 billion, and bourbon makes up about two-thirds of the $1.6 billion of U.S. exports of distilled spirits. Distilling probably was brought to present-day Kentucky in the late 18th century by Scots, Scots-Irish, and other settlers who began to farm the area in earnest. The origin of bourbon as a distinct form of whiskey is not well documented. There are many conflicting legends and claims, some more credible than others. History Legal Requirements for example, the invention of bourbon is often attributed to Elijah Craig, a Baptist minister and distiller credited with many Kentucky firsts who is also said to have been the first to age the product in charred oak casks, a process which gives bourbon its reddish color and distinctive taste. Across the county line in Bourbon County, an early distiller named Jacob Spears is credited with being the first to label his product as bourbon whiskey. Spears' home, Stone Castle, Warehouse, and Spring House survive. One can drive by the Spears' home on Clay Kaiser Road. Although still popular and often repeated, the Craig legend is apocryphal. Similarly, the Spears' story is a local favorite rarely repeated outside the county. There likely was no single inventor of bourbon, which developed into its present form only in the late 19th century. Essentially any type of grain can be used to make whiskey, and the practice of aging whiskey and charring the barrels for better flavor had also been known in Europe for centuries. The late date of the Bourbon County etymology has led Louisville historian Michael Veach to dispute its authenticity. He proposes that the whiskey was named after Bourbon Street in New Orleans, a major port where shipments of Kentucky whiskey sold well as a cheaper alternative to French cognac. Another proposed origin of the name is the association with the geographic area known as Old Bourbon. This area included the current Bourbon County of Kentucky, which became a county of Kentucky when Kentucky was separated from Virginia as a new state in 1792. When American pioneers pushed west of the Allegheny Mountains following the American Revolution, the first counties they founded covered vast regions. One of these original, huge counties was Bourbon established in 1785 and named after the French royal family. While this vast county was being carved into many smaller ones, early in the 19th century, many people continued to call the region Old Bourbon. Located within Old Bourbon was the principal port on the Ohio River, Maysville, Kentucky, from which whiskey and other products were shipped. Old Bourbon was stenciled on the barrels to indicate their port of origin. Old Bourbon whiskey was different because it was the first corn whiskey most people had ever tasted. In time, Bourbon became the name for any corn-based whiskey. Although many distilleries operated in Bourbon County historically, there were no distilleries operating there between 1919, when Prohibition began in Kentucky.
in late 2014, when a small distillery opened a period of 95 years. Geographic Origin A refinement often dubiously credited to James C. Crow was the sour mash process, by which each new fermentation is conditioned with some amount of spent mash. Spent mash is also known as spent beer, distillers spent grain, stillage, and slop or feed mash, so named because it is used as animal feed. The acid introduced by using the sour mash controls the growth of bacteria that could taint the whiskey and creates a proper pH balance for the yeast to work. A concurrent resolution adopted by the United States Congress in 1964 declared bourbon to be a distinctive product of the United States and asked the appropriate agencies of the United States government, take appropriate action to prohibit importation into the United States of whiskey designated as bourbon whiskey. Federal regulation now defines bourbon whiskey to only include bourbon produced in the United States. Production Process In recent years, bourbon and Tennessee whiskey have enjoyed significant growth and popularity. The Distilled Spirits Council of the United States, the Industry Trade Group, tracks sales of bourbon and Tennessee whiskey together. According to the Distilled Spirits Council, during 2009-2014, the volume of 9-liter cases of whiskey increased by 28.5% overall. Higher-end bourbon and whiskies experienced the greatest growth. During 2009-14 the volume of the value segment increased by 12.1%, premium by 25.8%, high-end premium by 27.8% and super premium by 123.8%. Gross supplier revenues for U.S. bourbon and Tennessee whiskey increased by 46.7% over the 2009-14 period, with the greatest growth coming from high-end products. In 2014, more than 19 million 9-liter cases of bourbon and Tennessee whiskey were sold in the U.S., generating almost $2.7 billion in wholesale distillery revenue. U.S. exports of bourbon whiskey surpassed $1 billion for the first time in 2013. Distillers hailed the rise of a golden age of Kentucky bourbon and predicted further growth. In 2014, it was estimated that U.S. bourbon whiskey exports surpassed $1 billion. Major export markets for U.S. spirits are, in descending order, Canada, the United Kingdom, Germany, Australia, and France. The largest percentage increases in U.S. exports were, in descending order, Brazil, the Dominican Republic, Bahamas, Israel, and United Arab Emirates. Key elements of growth in the markets showing the largest increases have been changes of law, trade agreements, and reductions of tariffs, as well as increased consumer demand for premium category spirits. Bourbon's legal definition varies somewhat from country to country, but many trade agreements require the name bourbon to be reserved for products made in the United States. The U.S. regulations for labeling and advertising bourbon apply only to products made for consumption within the United States, they do not apply to distilled spirits made for export. Canadian law requires products labeled bourbon to be made in the United States and also to conform to the requirements that apply within the United States. But in countries other than the United States and Canada, products labeled bourbon may not adhere to the same standards. For example, in the European Union, Products labeled as bourbon are not required to conform to all of the regulations that apply within the United States, though they still must be made in the U.S. Uses The federal standards of identity for distilled spirits state that bourbon made for U.S. consumption must be
Bourbon has no minimum specified duration for its aging period. Products aged for as little as three months are sold as bourbon. The exception is straight bourbon, which has a minimum aging requirement of two years. In addition, any bourbon aged less than four years must include an age statement on its label. Bourbon that meets the above requirements, has been aged for a minimum of two years, and does not have added coloring, flavoring, or other spirits may be called straight bourbon. Bourbon that is labeled blended may contain added coloring, flavoring, and other spirits, but at least 51% of the product must be straight bourbon. Notes On May 4, 1964, the United States Congress recognized bourbon whiskey as a distinctive product of the United States by concurrent resolution. Bourbon may be produced anywhere in the United States where it is legal to distill spirits, but most brands are produced in Kentucky, where bourbon production has a strong historical association. Iron-free water that has been filtered through the high concentrations of limestone, unique to the area, is often touted by bourbon distillers in Kentucky as a signature step in the bourbon-making process. On August 2, 2007, the U.S. Senate passed a resolution sponsored by Senator Jim Bunning officially declaring September 2007 to be National Bourbon Heritage Month, marking the history of bourbon whiskey. Notably, the resolution claimed that Congress had declared bourbon to be America's native spirit in its 1964 resolution. However, the 1964 resolution had not contained such a statement, it had declared bourbon to be a distinctive product identifiable with the United States. The resolution was passed again in 2008. As of 2014, approximately 95% of all bourbon is produced in Kentucky, according to the Kentucky Distillers Association. The state has more than 5.3 million barrels of bourbon that are aging a number that exceeds the state population. Bartstown, Kentucky is home to the annual bourbon festival held each September. It has been called the bourbon capital of the world by the Bartstown Tourism Commission and the Kentucky Bourbon Festival organizers who have registered the phrase as a trademark. The Kentucky Bourbon Trail is the name of a tourism promotion program organized by the Kentucky Distillers Association and aimed at attracting visitors to the distilleries in Kentucky, primarily including Four Roses, Heaven Hill, Jim Beam, Maker's Mark, Town Branch, Wild Turkey, and Woodford Reserve. Tennessee is home to other major bourbon makers, though most prefer to call their product Tennessee Whiskey instead including Giant Jack Daniels. It is legally defined under Tennessee House Bill 1084, the North American Free Trade Agreement and at least one other international trade agreement as the recognized name for a straight bourbon whiskey produced in Tennessee. It is also required to meet the legal definition of bourbon under Canadian law. Citations Although some Tennessee whiskey makers maintain a state-mandated pre-aging filtration through chunks of maple charcoal known as the Lincoln County process makes its flavor distinct from bourbon, U.S. regulations defining bourbon neither require nor prohibit its use. Prior to 2013 the Lincoln County process was not legally required for products identified as Tennessee whiskey. Bourbon also was and is made in other U.S. states. Produced in the United States, made from a grain mixture that is at least 51% corn, aged in new, charred oak containers, distilled to no more than 160 proof, entered into the barrel for aging at no more than 125 proof, bottled at 80 proof or more.
To be legally sold as bourbon the whiskey's mash bill requires a minimum of 51% corn, with the remainder being rye, wheat, malted barley, singly or in any combination. A mash bill that contains wheat instead of rye produces what is known as a wheat bourbon. The grain is ground and mixed with water. Usually, though not always, Mash from a previous distillation is added to ensure a consistent pH across batches, creating a sour mash. Finally, yeast is added and the mash is fermented. It is distilled to between 65% and 80% alcohol using either a traditional alembic or the much less expensive continuous still. Most modern bourbons are initially run off using a column still then redistilled in a doubler that is basically a pot still. The resulting clear spirit, called white dog, is placed in newly charred American white oak barrels for aging, during which it gains color and flavor from the caramelized sugars in the charred wood. Changes to the spirit also occur due to evaporation and chemical processes such as oxidation. Bourbons gain more color and flavor the longer they age in wood. Maturity, not a particular duration, is the goal, as bourbons aged too long can become woody and unbalanced. Bourbon that is labeled as straight that has been aged under four years must be labeled with the duration of its aging, bourbon that has an age stated on its label must be labeled with the age of the youngest whiskey in the bottle. After maturing, bourbon is withdrawn from the barrel, usually filtered and diluted with water, and bottled to at least 80 U.S. proof. Most bourbon whiskey is sold at 80 U.S. proof. Other common proofs are 86, 90, and 100, and all bottled in bond bourbon is 100 proof. Some higher proof bottlings are marketed as barrel proof meaning that they have not been diluted or have been only lightly diluted after removal from the barrels. Bourbon whiskey may be sold at less than 80 proof but must be labeled as diluted bourbon. After processing, barrels remain saturated with up to 10 gallons of bourbon, though 2-3 is the norm. They may not be reused for bourbon, and most are sold to distilleries in Canada, Scotland, Ireland, Mexico, and the Caribbean for aging other spirits. Some are employed in the manufacture of various barrel-aged products, including amateur and professionally brewed bourbon barrel-aged beer, barbecue sauce, wine, hot sauce, and others. Since 2011, Jim Beam has employed barrel rinsing on a large scale to extract bourbon from its used barrels, mixing the extract with a six-year-old Beam bourbon to create a 90-proof product that it sells as Devil's Cut. The bottling operation for bourbon is the process of filtering, mixing together straight whiskey from different barrels, dilution with water, blending with other ingredients, and filling of containers to produce the final product that is marketed to consumers. The phrase bottled by, by itself, means only that. Only if the bottler operates the distillery that produced the whiskey may distilled by be added to the label. Labeling requirements for bourbon and other alcoholic beverages are defined in the U.S. Code of Federal Regulations. No whiskey made outside the United States may be labeled bourbon or sold as bourbon inside the United States. Bourbon is served in a variety of manners, including neat, diluted with water, over ice, with other beverages in simple mixed drinks, and into cocktails, including the Manhattan, the Old Fashioned, the Whiskey Sour, and the Mint Julep. Bourbon is also used in cooking and was historically used for medicinal purposes.